me to be a real life wedding crasher and crash their wedding. And honestly, this is a dream job, so I figured I'd take you guys along with me. You might be wondering why someone would pay me to crash their wedding, but by the end of the day, it'll all make sense. I started off the day by gathering their most expensive items and trying to sell them on Facebook. And even though the listing photos were super high quality, people kept lowballing me with offers. I wanted to make sure the guests didn't discover me as the wedding crasher. So in true Los Angeles style, I disguised myself as a paparazzi. I spent the next hour taking pictures of people from afar so they wouldn't know I'm taking them. I've already gotten multiple offers from People's Magazine to buy these photos, but I'm a wedding crasher with integrity, and these photos are strictly for disguise purposes only. I got to the next location early so I could scope out the food situation, and after a crisp Diet Coke, I decided to move on to phase two of wedding crashing. In this phase, I would shine bright lights on people until they would ask me to stop. Some guy was almost onto me, but I just told him that I was the photographer and he walked away. I knew at this point in the night that I only had a few hours left to crash this wedding, so I went full force crash mode and had everyone consume liquid that made them want to dance a lot. At that point, the woman of the hour told me that she was so happy with how I did my job that she said that I could party with them. So I spent the next 30 minutes dancing my heart out. Overall, it was a great day. 10 out of 10 would crash again.